Okay, in part C. Um, in this one, they're asking for perimeter. Okay, and then I'm going to go with perimeter. Don't forget perimeter is distance traveled. So you, you want to find out how long A. Oh, you can't quite see A. Excuse me. Let me just kind of scooch that down. Oh, you want to find out how long A is? Then you need to find out how long B is. And then you got to find how long C is. Ooh, A plus B plus C. Okay, that's 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 good. So A is distance traveled. Now, distance traveled got two different formulas. One of them has to do with parametrics which is Pythagorean theorem. It's right here. And here's the other one. And I show you the shenanigans, how you can go from this to this. Uh, but this one, since everything's in terms of Y, you're going to have to use this one, which is a square root of one plus dy dx squared. And then you got to integrate that thing. Now, remember, again, this is a right, but do not evaluate. Of course, I can't. Well, no, I didn't evaluate this thing. Um, again, you could have done it with your calculator. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's see. For this one, first thing we do is we find out what is dy dx. All right, dy dx. Let's see. x, e to the x, derivative of x, 1, derivative of the e to the x, e to the x. So going this way, we get an e to the x. Going this way, we get x times e to the x. So the length of a is going to equal the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus e to the x plus x e to the x quantity squared dx. Okay, that takes care of A. All right, B, B is just common, well, common sense. Yeah, it's a freaking, oh, it's a line. Sorry, keep it, keep it school appropriate here. Uh, we got, if you evaluate uh, f of x at 1, you get e, and that's e, 1 comma e up there, 1 comma e up there. And then if you evaluate g of x at 1, you get negative 2. So we're going from 1 e to 1 negative 2. And that ends up being e plus 2. So we got a, we got b, and now all we need is c. Now c, you could just do Pythagorean theorem. Looks like a triangle to me. Uh, or you can use an integral, whatever the case may be, whichever one works for you. So we need g prime of x, g prime of x. Oh, that's negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. So c ends up being square root of 5. Once again, like you could have used Pythagorean theorem to get it. You did use Pythagorean theorem to get it. Um, okay, and that's it.